How's it going everybody? Just wanted to do a quick video on what does the current limit mean on the inverter monitors. So whether you have a digital control monitor like this with the knob or you have the touchscreen monitor, there's a setting to where you can adjust the current limit. So whenever you're on shore power or generator power, you need to adjust this current limit. And what this current limit does, it tells the inverter how much shore power or generator power you have to work with. And if you use more than that can provide, the batteries will pick up the rest of the load. The higher you set this number, the more power it's going to try to pull from your shore power or from your generator. So if you set it too high, it could possibly trip the breaker on the shore power or your generator. Now the lower you put the number, the less power it's going to pull and the sooner the battery power is going to kick in. So basically, you want to just match whatever you're plugged into or go maybe a few numbers lower, maybe like five numbers lower. So for instance, if you're at a household outlet and just a regular wall outlet and you're plugged in, you're going to want to set it to about 15. If you're at a 30 amp campground and you have a 30 amp plug in, you're going to want to set it to 30. Now if you have a 50 amp rig and you have 50 amp shore power, you're going to set it to 50. As far as the generators, you have to look at your particular generator to see how many amps it can put out. So if you look on the label for most generators, it'll say, you know, 20 amps or 21 amps or 25 amps. So that's about the max your generator can put out. So you want to set it to that number or maybe a couple points lower, just not to overload the generator. Also, this is not automatic, so you have to set it to whatever you're plugged into or whatever generator you have at that particular time. 